Hey guys and welcome back to our Pokemon Blaze Black Nuzlocke. So yeah, in the last episode we uh, took on Lenora and uh, that was a pretty tough gym uh, battle as you guys can see right here. We lost a couple of our Pokemon, we lost Tata Temple and Pendefempi. You guys will be missed, um, but uh, as you guys might hear already, this is a post com. I'm not live coming this. Uh, for some reason my audio got all kinds of messed up, I don't know what happened, so yeah, that's why I'm post coming this. So yeah, this is the first time I'm doing this, uh, like ever, so yeah, uh, forgive me if it uh, sounds kind of weird, I kind of have to get used to this. So yeah, I'm, right now I'm just watching my recording and just commentating over it. Um, but yeah, as, uh, as I said, uh, we uh, beat Lenora in the last episode and today we are going to face Team Plasma because uh, they kind of stole the Dragon Skull uh, from this museum. And Lenora says, now you wait, they're not fooling around. Um, so yeah, they stole the Dragon Skull and we have to uh, get it back. So um, that is what we're going to do in today's episode. So yeah, if you're excited for that, be sure to press the like button down below. Uh, and yeah, as we're going through this dialogue, um, let me explain why I haven't uploaded uh, these last couple of weeks. You guys probably have noticed I didn't do any uploads. Uh, it was the end of the semester, so I was really busy with uh, finishing everything up. And now I finally have handed in my final report and... I'm done with the semester so that means summer vacation is finally here for me so that is really great so yeah now I finally have some more time to play this game and uh, upload some videos for you guys so uh, look forward to some more videos I know I haven't really been consistent but uh, that should change now that summer vacation is here um, but yeah uh, Team Plasma just ran away with this, uh, with this dragon skull so we are going to chase after them uh, after I finish up talking to everyone in this museum apparently uh, I don't know why I did that, because they pretty much don't have anything useful to say. This girl will uh, revive a fossil for us once we uh, get one, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and leave this museum. And here we are leaving the museum, Lenora is there waiting for us. And there is a mysterious fellow, uh, and his name is Burr. Good, good day, Lenora. This is a surprise visit, are you suffering from artist block again? Well, uh, Burke probably has uh, some kind of stuff that he has to take care of. Um, but this is Burke. He may not look like it, but he's Castilia City's gym leader. Uh, just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? Well, something got stolen, so uh, maybe you could help us with that? Someone walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of news has come out for Pokemon as well. In the meantime, uh, it actually released a couple of days ago the... Uh, DLC for Sword and Shield, have you guys gotten it? Uh, to be fair, I haven't gotten it because I don't know, I might get it later, but right now, um, to be honest, I didn't really enjoy Sword and Shield a whole lot, so I don't know if I should spend uh, $30 on getting a uh, DLC for that game. If the reviews are good, I might get it, but right now I'm just not going to get the game. But uh, let me know in the comments down below if you got the games and what you think of it. Um, I mean, I saw a couple of uh, things on Twitter about it, like Pokemon can follow you right now, so that is uh, pretty cool stuff. And uh, of course you have the new Pokemon that got added to uh, to the game, like, uh, well not really new Pokemon, but old Pokemon that got added to the game. I think Talonflame is in the game now, and Skarmory, so yeah, a lot of old Pokemon that weren't in the original Sword and Shield are now included in the DLC, so that is pretty cool. But we got the dowsing machine, so now we can uh, go ahead and use that to get some nice hidden items. And you guys know that I love hidden items, so... Uh, yeah, that's a pretty helpful item. Uh, but yeah, also there uh, was another trailer a couple of weeks ago about uh, Sword, uh, Sword and Shield as well. Like the new uh, Galarian forms for uh, the legendary birds. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of those. Uh, I, I like the originals better, but uh, they are pretty cool. Especially uh, Galarian uh, Moltres. That thing looks really cool with its uh, black and red color scheme. And of course you had the uh, new Regis, Regi Draco and... Okay, I'm probably gonna butcher his name, but Reggie, Reggie Lecky, I think it's called that. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like their designs. I mean, it's cool that they're new Reggies, but I don't think it was really necessary. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, we have uh, some important business to do, and that is to deposit our fallen team members. So, Timple, Ted the Timple, unfortunately, you are going to get bucks. And of course, Pen the Fempy, I'm really gonna miss you. You finally had some good moves as well with Rock Smash, uh, Seed Bomb, Flail, and Rollout. And unfortunately you are going to get boxed, so uh, goodbye Fempy, you will be missed. But yeah, the new Reggie forms, uh, they're okay I guess, I mean I don't really... Okay, Reggie Draco, I think it's called Reggie Draco, was it called Reggie Drake? I can't even remember anymore, but that thing is okay, but the uh, electric one, I don't really like it, it kind of looks weird. And its name is also weird, I think Reggie Shock or something would have fitted it much better than... Uh, well, I'm not even gonna pronounce its name again because it's just too hard to uh, pronounce. 
But yeah, we're going to buy some more uh, healing items because we use a lot of those against uh, uh, against Lenora. Uh, yeah, I only had five left, I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, definitely need some of those. And yeah, now that we bought some more items, we can go ahead and leave the Pokemon Center and yeah, head to uh, Pinwheel Forest to uh, yeah get back the Dragon Skull. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, let's see what I'm going to do right here. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been like... Yeah, I recorded this episode a couple of weeks ago before I got all busy with... Uh, my uh, uh, school stuff, so uh, that is why I can't really remember what exactly I did this episode. So yeah, this is a first time for me as well watching through this episode. But we're going to get on our bike, I don't know what I did in my back, didn't really pay attention. Berg is waiting for us. Uh, so yeah, uh, he is going to lead us to Pinwheel Forest, so yeah, let's go ahead and follow him on our bike. Should be able to catch up with him real soon because we're on our bike of course, and he is just uh, walking on foot. But there is Berg. Uh, I'm going to get off my bike right here and... Um, See what Berg wants to talk about. Well you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road goes straight and one that goes through the forest. So yeah, we are going to take the one uh, through the forest because, uh, well that is pretty much uh, the road that we have to take and the, if we go straight we can just battle some trainers but I think we're going to do that next episode. In today's episode we are just going to face the, uh, uh, well the trainers on this path but also the trainers on, uh, or I mean the Team, uh, not Team Galactic, Team Plasma Grunt. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But first, let's see what Pokemon I have up front. Flape and Dream, that uh, that should be fine facing uh, against these uh, these twins. So yeah, we have a double battle incoming against these twins. So yeah, let's see what, uh, what Pokemon they are going to use. I can't remember what Pokemon they used. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what they are going to send out. Twins Mayo and May. I don't really like Mayo. Do you, like, do you guys like Mayo on your fries? I don't. To be honest, I don't really like anything on my uh, fries. I just like them uh, just dry, is that word for it? I don't know. Yeah, I never was a big fan of sauces like uh, ketchup and uh, all the other stuff. Um, but we're facing uh, two Bug-type Pokemon, so uh, let's, get out, uh, let's uh, get out of here with Dream because, well, Dream doesn't really want to take a Bug Bite or anything of the sort. So send out Otto against these and uh, I'm going for the Lava Plume, that's why I went into Otto, because Otto resists the Lava Plume and it doesn't get burned, so that is also really fortunate. And we Oko the two uh, fire types, so that is great. They go down and I think they have more Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Our Pokemon gain some nice EXP and... Okay, Cottony and probably a Pedalil, I'm guessing. Yep, I was right. I uh, remembered that correctly. So yeah, we can just uh, Lava Plume those as well and kill them. Probably in one shot, Otto can take the Lava Plume as we uh, just saw, so... Yeah, let's just go for a Fury Cutter, I guess. Uh, it's, I mean, it's super effective and uh, yeah, we might uh, need to kill the Pokemon uh, if they uh, lift the Lava Plume, but we don't because they just died to uh, one Lava Plume. So Flape really putting in work right here. And yeah, Otto grows to level 24, so that is great. Otto really gained a lot of EXP uh, and levels in the uh, battle against uh, Lenora. We pretty much couldn't have defeated uh, Lenora without Otto. If we lost Otto in that battle, I'm pretty sure the luck would have ended there because that battle was really tough. So yeah, we definitely need to keep that in mind um, uh, when facing the uh, next gym leader, which is Burke, which we uh, just met in this episode. But we're facing the first Team Plasma Grunt of the episode, sending out a Sendile. Um, so yeah, this Sendile, uh, not really too big of a problem. We do have Flape up front though, so we probably need to switch out. Uh, am I going to switch out? I really hope my past self uh, switch out right here. I think I'm going to. Am I going to? Come on, man. Blade of the Past, please switch out because uh, you probably don't want to stay in against a ground type. Okay, uh, I'm going to switch out. I don't know why it took so long uh, switching out. Yeah, that's one thing I'm noticing when editing my videos as well, that I just take so much time just thinking of my moves. Well, it isn't a bad thing because you kind of have to think uh, very well about your moves since any uh, decision can uh, cause a Pokemon to faint. So, yeah, especially in the Nuzlocke, you need to watch out for that stuff. But we're facing a Fungus right here, and I do remember this Fungus. Uh, it's pretty scary, it has the uh, move Bite, and uh, yeah, that is a pretty powerful move, but it just gets Oko'd, so we couldn't even go for the Bite. And uh, yeah, Fleer grows level 23, last Pokemon is a Scorpy, so we can just stay in and go for another Wing Attack on this uh, Poison and Bug type. Yeah, Scorpy is pretty interesting that it lost its Bug typing and gained the uh, Dark typing instead. It's much better as a Drapion than a Scorpy. I mean, as a Drapion it only has one weakness in Ground. Um, so yeah, I kinda, it's kind of cool that some Pokemon lose their types, like uh, uh, Fletchling uh, loses the normal typing but gains the fire typing. Of course, uh, 
Ninkata changes uh, as two different types, like as a ninja it gets uh, bug flying and as a ninja it gets bug um, ghost. But we encounter a bell sprout right here, but uh, I read you guys' comment, uh, I read you guys' comments and I decided for myself that I'm not going to count this inner area of Pinwheel Forest as a new area. Because the outer area was also uh, labeled uh, Pinwheel Forest, so that is why I'm not counting any Pokemon that we encounter here as a new encounter. So, unfortunately, we can't catch another new Pokemon in this uh, forest, but that should be fine. We still have uh, plenty of Pokemon. Well, not really. We only have four and none in our box, so we definitely need to get some new Pokemon. But that's not going to happen in this episode, I'm afraid. We're encountering an Oddish, though, so let's run away from that thing. Okay, and there's a hidden item that we can uh, grab, so, uh, okay, I think it's actually behind that tree, so we can't grab it yet. A Pedalil, that is a pretty cool uh, Pokemon, we can't catch you though. Uh, a Grass Pokemon would be pretty helpful to have though, but unfortunately we can't catch it. Um, but we're getting this item, which is a big root, okay then, that's uh, cool I guess. Oh yeah, let's uh, go ahead and uh, leave this grass. And yeah, now that we're finally out of this grass, we can battle this Team Plasma Ground. Okay, how did she see me? I don't know how. She must have some uh, spider senses or something. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't even in her uh, field of vision. Um, but yeah, Team Plasma Grunt wants to challenge us, sends out a Murkrow. Okay, um, this thing is really scary because uh, this thing probably has Pursuit. So um, I need to watch out for that. So I'm not going to switch out. I'm going to f go for the uh, Lava Plume. And there is the Wing Attack and that does so much damage. Hopefully this Lava Plume okos you. It doesn't. And as I said, this thing probably has Pursuit, so if I switch out right here and he goes for the Pursuit, I die. So I don't want to take that risk. I'm going for the uh, Super Potion right here and see what this uh, Murko wants to do. He does in fact go for the Pursuit, so luckily uh, I was smart and I didn't switch out. So uh, yeah, we can take another Wing Attack, so let's just go for the Lava Plume. He goes for the Pursuit again. I didn't switch out, so that is gonna do nothing. Still did a solid chunk though. So this Murko is dead. So yeah, this uh, Team Plasma God not playing around with his strategies. He's dead though. And Flape grows to level 23, so that is nice. Yeah, Flape need, uh, needs to gain some more levels, because he's our... I'm pretty sure he's our lowest level team member. We want to learn Torment. Uh, I'm not gonna teach you Torment. I mean, it isn't bad, but... Uh, we have better moves. But yeah, next Pokemon is going to be a Lipart. And this thing probably has the Pursuit as well, because it's a Dark type. So yeah, I don't want to risk that either, so let's just go for the Super Potion and see what this thing wants to do. Hopefully it doesn't go for a Night Slash or something. Fake out, okay, that's fine. Okay, what am I going to do? I think I'm just gonna stay in. Yep, I stayed in. He goes for the Torment, so that sucks, because uh, we just got... Wow, the... Uh, the chances of me learning Torment and then uh, he going for the uh, Torment himself. Um, but yeah, I can't go for the uh, Lava Plume anymore. There is the Pursuit, so luckily I didn't switch out. That did so much damage though. We had to go for the Flame Burst because of the Torment, so we don't kill it unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I, I am going to heal up right here because we're kinda low and uh, I don't want to take another move. As this Lightbart goes for the Night Slash, so there is the Night Slash. Please don't do too much. Okay, that is... About half, that at 28. So we should be able to live another one. But if he crits us, then we die. And Night Slash has a high uh, chance of critting, so let's play it safe. Go for the Super Potion right here. As this Lightbart goes for the Pursuit, so we should be able to take another Night Slash now. So uh, let's go for the uh, Acrobatics to knock you out. There's a Pursuit. I didn't switch out, so we live that. And Acrobatics is going to kill this Lightbart. So yeah, this Team Plasma Grunt is really scary with the Pursuit and the powerful moves. He's dead though, so uh, luckily we came out of this battle unscathed. And uh, we should better try something else ap uh, apparently, so uh, I don't know why I should take the advice of a uh, Team Plasma Grunt. And here I'm kind of confused because I don't know where this hidden item is, but I'm finding out soon enough. It's uh, in the south, uh, not the south, the uh, bottom uh, left corner of the screen. So uh, we're going to grab that in a minute after healing up our Pokemon of course, because they kind of got beat up by that uh, powerful... Uh, Team Plasma Grunt, but there is a uh, Ranger, I think it's a Ranger uh, lurking there in the grass, so um, yeah, we are going to battle him right now, if he wants to see us, that is. Hey, dude, look at me, okay, of course. And of course we encountered a wild Pokemon just when, uh, when we want to have a battle, so uh, finally this guy decides to uh, look at me so we can have a battle against him. 
ranger forest that kind of fits you because you're literally in a forest but he leads off with a dunce bars okay that thing is uh, pretty scary because if it has the serene grace ability then uh, he can most likely try to flinch me to death if he has the headbutt that's a pretty common strategy on the uh, dunce bars in competitive battling dunce bars isn't even that common in competitive battling but once uh, when you use a dunce bars it most likely has a uh, that strategy along with the glare of course that is also really annoying now we're paralyzed so uh, uh, let's just switch out because um, lava plume didn't really do a much uh, lava plume didn't really do much either so let's just send out a uh, dream against this dunce bars dream needs to get some more training as he goes for the rollout luckily he's burnt though so even though rollout is stacking uh, it won't do too much let's go for the side beam yeah rollout is doing nothing because of the burn so luckily that lava plume burned him otherwise we probably would have been in a pickle so yeah, let's kill you with the uh, next uh, Psybean. Okay, Roart is doing some more damage now, but uh, Dunsparce is dead now, so that is great. Dream gains some nice EXP, just like Flay. Flay growing to level 23, and Heracross is next. Okay, I'm, I'm really tempted to stay in, but uh, Heracross is part bug type, and I don't want to take a Maghorn or Exit or whatever, so I'm just going to play it safe, switch out into Fleer. Fleer can probably take anything this thing wants to throw at me. There's the bug bite, so if we stayed in, we probably would have lost mana and... Uh, yeah, and that wouldn't have been uh, really nice. So let's kill this Heracross with one wing attack. And uh, yeah, defeat Forest, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Dream wants to learn Zen Headbutt. And I'm pretty sure Forest has one more Pokemon. Uh, Zen Headbutt is physical and Dream is really bad uh, attack. But I think I'm still going to teach it Zen Headbutt. Am I? I can't remember anymore. No, I think I did teach it in it, but uh, I got rid of Moonlight, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, I got rid of Moonlight because we can just uh, use healing items inside of battle. So, yeah, Moonlight also has really uh, low PP. So, yeah, I got rid of Moonlight for a Zen headbutt. Uh, next up is the Chimchar, though. I'm just going to stay in, go for the wing attack. Probably going to Oko this Chimchar. It's a basic Pokemon. Okay, this Chimchar actually lifts my uh, wing attack. And it goes for the Flame Wheel and almost kills me because of the crit and the blaze. Okay, that was really scary. Um... Chimchar doesn't have any priority though, so um, am I going to switch out or am I going to attack? No, I am just going to play it safe. He doesn't have to pursue just like the Murkrow or the Lipart, so we can just safely switch out into Otto on the Flame Wheel. That is resisted, even though it's uh, Blaze boosted. I think it has Blaze? I don't know actually, because the uh, abilities of Pokemon got changed. Like Otto doesn't have Torrent anymore, it has Vital Spirit, so Chimchar might actually have a different ability than Blaze. Uh, either way though, uh, Chimtar goes down and Forest is defeated, so we can go ahead and continue our quest on retrieving the uh, Dragon Skull. As we get the Chesto Berry, and uh, that is cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab that hidden item, or not. No, I'm actually going to go back to the uh, Pokemon Center, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we're all healed up right now, I went back to the Pokemon Center and my Pokemon are all up to full HP right now. So, so yeah, we can finally go on and uh, uh, continue our journey through the uh, pinwheel forest as we get the tm for venoshock so that is a pretty cool tm so yeah let's go down here and grab this hidden item that's been uh, waiting for us to be picked up we're standing on it right now so let's step aside and grab the tiny mushroom i mean we can sell that it's not too bad so yeah we're out of the tall grass right now so yeah let's continue on yeah i really hope this uh, post scum isn't really too distracting i mean i'm just kind of trying to narrate through this uh well through my gameplay and uh not spoil uh, anything that happens so uh yeah hope you guys uh yeah so i hope i'm doing a good job and hope you guys uh, aren't distracted by it or something like that it's uh, really new for me as well so i kind of have to get used to this and well it's still kind of a natural uh, reaction because i can't really remember every, uh, everything that happened in this episode so uh i mean it isn't really too uh scripted i guess but we're facing a shroomish right here so let's go for the lava plume on this thing and probably oko it yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's one example of me not knowing what happened. I didn't know if that Lava Plume was going to kill or not. Uh, but next up is a Cyndaquil. Okay, that is a Fire type. So uh, let's go ahead and switch out into... Or am I going to switch out? No, I think I'm actually going to go for the Acrobatics. Yeah, because we can just take any of his Fire type moves as well. So yeah, let's go for the Acrobatics. It's powerful because we don't have a health item. Almost uh, kill it. So let's go for another one to kill the Cyndaquil. Nice, Cyndaquil goes down. And next up is a Trico. Okay, so... So yeah, it hurts, but I have to kill this Trico right here, so I'm sorry Trico, you just have to die right here. So let's go for the... Uh... Okay, why don't I just go for the Lava Plume right here? So yeah, let's kill it with the Acrobatics. I don't know why I went for Acrobatics right here. I guess I was just trying to show off. Uh, this Trico goes down though. 
And uh, yeah, youngster Nicholas is defeated, so we can uh, continue on. But yeah, actually, uh, I haven't thought of a question of the day yet. Um, well, maybe, uh, what do you think about the DLC? Uh, and I'm just talking about all the new stuff that uh, got revealed, like uh, Galarian Slowbro. That thing actually looks really cool, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, Galarian uh, Slowbro, uh, the uh, new Regis, the Galarian... Uh, forms of the legendary birds and of course the DLC itself and of course the DLC itself if you are playing it right now let me know in the comments down below what you think of it and whether it is worth getting because I'm still uh, not sure if I should get it so yeah let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think a uh, lava plume on the Satangela should definitely kill it because it doesn't really have the best uh, special defense uh, and yeah it uh, drops in one shot so that is great we grow to level 24 yep nice and Flaypot to learn Crunch. Okay, um, yeah, this is another moment that I'm really regretting teaching Flape Cut because I would just love to get rid of Cut right here and teach it Crunch because Crunch is a really good move, but I can't do that. I can do that at like the city of the uh, sixth gym, so that still takes a while before we get there. So unfortunately, we have to deal with Cut until then. Uh, let's get rid of. I think I got rid of uh, Flame Burst right here. Yeah, because we already had Lava Plume, even though we. Uh, don't really have a way to use a fire type move inside of a double battle we don't really face uh, or well we don't really have double battles that often so uh, having lava plume uh, as our only fire type move should be fine and yeah we kill this Bulbasaur as well so a lot of uh, grass type starters in this episode we're facing a scyther right now okay that thing is pretty powerful but uh, we should be able to kill it with the lava plume right here as he goes for the wing attack and does a lot of damage and hopefully we burn this thing right here we don't Okay, well, never mind, we do. Okay, I uh, spoke too soon right there. We don't kill it though, that is unfortunate. Uh, but since it burned, uh, we can just go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because the next wing attack won't do as much damage anymore. And yeah, Flave should be able to take care of this uh, Scyther right here. There's the wing attack again. And yeah, that did nothing right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and kill it with the uh, Acrobatics. Super effective. As he goes for the wing attack, does not crit me luckily because I'm pretty sure a crit would have knocked uh, Flape out right there and that would be uh, pretty sad. But yeah, we gain some nice money as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon after getting this Chesto Berry. So uh, these guys apparently like to give us Chesto Berries. I mean, it's nice because just getting free stuff is always nice. But yeah, let's go ahead and put Fleer up front because Flape is uh, kind of weak. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, nothing in, uh, on that uh, little... Uh, I don't know what it is. Is it like a pile of leaves? I don't know. I think it's a pile of leaves. Yeah, it is a pile of leaves. You could see the little uh, leaves uh, jumping up in the air once that uh, Ranger appeared. So yeah, let's go ahead and battle her as well. Ranger Irene with three Pokemon. Okay then. Sending out a Rosalia. So yeah, this forest is a lot of just food for Fleer and uh, Flape. A lot of grass type and bug type Pokemon. So that is great. Uh, those can get some nice training in. Flape goes to level uh, 24 and her next Pokemon is going to be a Pinsir. Okay, we're probably, uh, we probably need to stay in right here because, uh, well, Fleer is our best bet against this Bug-type Pokemon. Yeah, Bug-type Pokemon, in my opinion, have some of the coolest designs, man. Like, Pinsir just looks so cool. Uh, even though uh, Bug-type Pokemon aren't really looked upon like the strongest uh, Pokemon, they have a lot of weaknesses. Um, they just look so cool. Their designs are always top-notch. Well, almost always, like Shuckle. Shaco is really the coolest looking uh, bug type, but uh, Pinsir, Heracross, just a lot of those Pokemon are really cool. But yeah, Fleer goes to level 25 already. And yeah, that was it for this uh, Ranger, so we can just uh, leave her and uh, continue on. And let's see for how much longer this episode is going on, because to be honest, my throat is kind of kind of getting sore so uh, i hope this uh, episode won't go on for too long okay uh, let's see according to my uh, video that i'm uh, watching right now so i can commentate it uh, it's going on for more uh, like 30 13 more minutes but it probably is going to be less because i probably have to cut out stuff uh, so uh, yeah for you guys it's probably less than 30 minutes we're facing a stunky though so let's just stay it against that thing uh, go for the wing attack and oko it does it have the aftermath no it doesn't so that is nice my Gina is coming out next. Does not have to intimidate, so it probably has the Moxie, so that's pretty scary. But we do have a fighting type, so let's send out Otto against this thing. Just go for the karate chop on it, and I guess... Okay, this thing has the Thunder Thing. I forgot about that. Okay, then, that is scary. 
Um, I probably shoot you up right here. Yeah, I can't really go into Fleer because of the Thunder Fang and Dream can't touch him and Flape is weakened, so... Yeah, my best bet is just healing up Otto and beating it with Otto. Even though it does have the Thunder Fang, we should be able to take it. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. I think I'm just gonna go for the... Uh, for the Karate Chop, actually. Okay, why am I not healing up right here? I don't know. Karate Chop is a two-shot and he goes for the Ice Fang right now. So I don't know what he was thinking right here. Maybe he predicted a switch or something, but uh, he's dead now. He predicted the switch into the ground type, I guess, but uh, I don't have a ground type. Not anymore. Rip pen, rip pen. Um, but yeah, Otto grows to, not grows to level, but he gains some EXP. And we're facing another Pokemon that is just fodder for Otto, so we can go for the uh, Karate Chop. But I'm first going to heal up because Otto is kind of weakened and this Glamio might have, I don't know, Thunderbolt or something. I mean, these Pokemon love to have these surprising uh, moves, so yeah, let's go for the... Uh, Karate Chop, luckily Fury Swipes misses so we don't have to go through that whole animation. And yeah, Glamio goes down. And yeah, that was it for this Team Plasma Ground. So I think there is like one or two more of uh, these. So, uh, okay, I healed up my Pokemon and uh, put uh, Fleer, I think, up front. So uh, that should be fine. Okay, our Repel wears off, nothing in that pile of leaves. But there is a Pokemon already and it has a Prism Scale. So that we can go ahead and use that to evolve Feebas, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I don't know if we ever get a Phoebus in this uh, LP, but, but you never know, right? But we're facing another ranger, a lot of rangers in this forest. With a Vigoroth. Okay, that is a pretty scary Pokemon. And we have Dreamer front, not Fleer. Okay, um, let's see if uh, Dream can handle it. Let's go for the... Uh, well, it does have the Fido Spirit, so we can go for Yon. So let's go for the Psybeam. As he has a Night Slash, so... Okay, we left the Night Slash, but we definitely need to switch out right here. I really hope this thing doesn't have Pursuit. I don't think it gets Pursuit. Okay, we do a lot of damage with the Psybeam though. So, um, yeah, let's switch out uh, into Otto and don't go for the Pursuit. It does not go for the Pursuit. So that is great. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Figaroff gets Pursuit. So luckily it didn't go for that. Uh, there's the Night Slash again. We can take that. We are Fighting type. Nice. And yeah, we can go ahead and finish you off with the uh, Fury Cutter. Or not, we can't kill you with the Fury Cutter. I don't know why I was playing around right there. I should have just went for the... Uh... And we missed the Fury Cutter as well. Why am I playing around right here? I should have just went for the Karate Chop. Because now we just took unnecessary damage. Figaroff is dead now though. And there is the Turtwig. Okay, then Turtwig is a really cool Pokemon, man. Uh, it is definitely my favorite Sinnoh starter. Like a lot of po uh, for, like for a lot of people, Chimchar is their favorite Sinnoh starter. But for me, it was Turtwig. I chose Turtwig when I first played through Sinnoh, and yeah, Torterra is just top tier design, man. Okay, we take the uh, Razor Leaf, so that is great. So let's go for the Lava Plume and probably Oko this Turtwig. Yep, down it goes. Okay, never mind. It has the Sturdy, so it lived, but it goes down to the burn uh, after this curse. So uh, you're cursing. Uh, you probably should be cursing for something else because uh, you're dead now. Other grows level 25, wants to learn Water Pulse. Okay, that is better than Water Gun. So uh, yeah, even though it's special, I mean it's better. I mean it's better than Water Gun in all shapes and forms. So uh, let, yeah, let's just uh, get rid of Water Gun for Water Pulse. Mothem is here, so let's just go for the Lava Plume and this thing. He goes for the Air Color. That does so much damage because of the crit. Okay, then calm down nothing, but you're dead, so uh, that is great. Okay, then a lot of scary moments, a lot of scary moments this episode. Okay, then you are defeated now, so uh, we gain another berry, the Pecha Berry. This time not a chest though. And yeah, we can go down here because I'm pretty sure there are a couple of items that we can grab. Okay, this item is going to be the TM for Grassnut. Okay, so it was actually worth going down here. So hopefully we won't encounter any more Pokemon and that ledge is kind of glitched. Uh, you can see uh, the sky uh, behind it and of course we encounter Pokemon. Okay, so we're finally out of the tall grass. We couldn't grab that uh, item down there because uh, we need Surf for it. So yeah, we have to wait for that. But this is the final Team Plasma Grunt. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and beat him and end of the episode after this because this episode has been going on for a while and um, my throat is really getting sore. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish this up quickly. Facing this team, uh, this final Team Plasma Grunt with a goal bet of his own. So it's actually going to be Dream versus his goal bet. So uh, we should be fine uh, going for the Psybeam right here. There's the wing attack and it does a lot of damage. Okay then, 34. 
If he crits me, then we lose stream. And that is pretty, uh, pretty bad. Am I going to risk that? I guess I am. I couldn't remember anymore. He goes for the ruse. Okay, that is annoying. Okay, I remember this part. Yep, I do. This goal bet was proceeding to be a really, really, really big annoyance. Yeah, I switched out already, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, Dream got a lot of... Uh, it took a lot of damage from that wing attack. So I'm pretty sure I switched out right here. Did I? Oh yeah, I switched out after this because we got confused right here. Can we land the side beam? Of course not. And now the fun begins because uh, we are going to switch out right here. But this Golbat is going to go ahead and keep going for Roost the entire time. Yep, there's the roost. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut this uh, part up because it was really annoying. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we defeat this uh, goal bat. It actually wasn't really that annoying. We went for the confuse ray again, but uh, Fleer took care of this uh, goal bat uh, real fast. So I kind of misremembered that, I guess. I don't know. I thought that goal bat was uh, more annoying. I guess it was more annoying in the moment, uh, but when you uh, rewatch it and it kind of well, it was uh, it went all right, I guess. We're facing a Scraggy though, but we can kill you with the uh, wing attack right here. And I think his final Pokemon is going to be the Beedrill, so... Uh, okay, it's not actually his final Pokemon, he has one more after this one. So that's Oculus Beedrill as well, so yeah, a lot of just food for Fleer. Fleer is gonna gr uh, grow to level 26 right now. So yeah, Fleer, it was once a really frail Zubat, but it's really now the powerhouse of the team alongside Otto. But his final Pokemon is the Carnivine, so we can go ahead and go for the wing attack on you. And Okoyu, so that is really, really great. And yeah, that was it for this Team Plasma Ground. And Fleer almost grows another level as well. But yeah, this dude is defeated. Fine, take a stupid skull. So this is one thing I never really understood. Like, you can clearly see this is the skull of a Dragonite. And these guys, for some reason, thought that the skull belonged to the... Uh, what's it called? The Ancient Dragon or something? Like Sacrum or Reserim. Like, dude, it's clearly a Dragonite. Like, how... Never mind, they're just stupid I guess. But here is Gorm, one of the seven sages. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the seven sages, I'm, mo I'm mortified that this skull which we went to so much trouble to obtain was stolen from us so easily. It's not important, we can afford to abandon the dragon skull. Okay, uh, Gorm finally realizes that it isn't uh, the skull of the legendary Pokemon that uh, Team Plasma has been looking for. It is completely unrelated. Yeah, it kind of took you a while to figure that one out, but... Uh, I guess it's fine. Uh, there is Burke helping us. Um, and Lenora as well. So yeah, these guys are cornered. They can't They uh, can't really do anything anymore. So they're pretty much forced to flee. Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Gets is another one of the seven sages. Will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. Okay then. But the odds are a little against us now. So yeah, you pretty much have to... Uh, Flea right here. Yeah. Yep, the Burke Pokemon user, Lenora, not Lenora, Burke, and uh, the normal type Pokemon user, Lenora, and of course, me, Blade. The Pokemon trainer with two badges, future Pokemon champ, are here to stop you, so yeah, you have to uh, flee, run away. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you, okay? That sounds serious, but uh, yeah, you don't really have anything else to say, but you, because you can't really do anything. So yeah, he, uh, so yeah, he flees and they were indeed a speedy bunch. They just vanished in thin air, I guess. But we got back the Sonic Skull and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well, now. Well, now. Well, I'll be waiting for your challenge at the Castilia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Yep, I am indeed looking forward to it as well. But uh, our gym battle kind of has to wait because I'm going to end off the episode right now after we finish up this dialogue. We get to... Uh, or not get the Dragon Skull. We give it back to Lenora so we, she can just put it back on the uh, bones of the uh, on the skeleton. And we also obtain some Moonstones. Okay, this is one thing I want to ask you guys because Mana evolves with the Moonstone. And uh, well, Pokemon that evolve with Evolution Stones are kind of known for not learning any new moves once they evolve. So let me know in the comments down below if I should teach uh, or, if, or if I should use the Moonstone on Mana because... It might help because Mana gets a lot stronger right then, but we might actually go ahead and miss out on some moves. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if I should teach the or should use the Moonstone on Mana already, or if I should wait. Uh, we find some King's Rocks as well. Okay, that's cool. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to end of the episode right now. I'm just gonna run around a bit, but uh, end of the episode. So yeah, in the next episode, we will go ahead and make our way to a Castilia city. So if you're excited for that, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to press the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Be sure to answer the comment question of the day. What do you think of the DLC? And yeah, see you guys in the next one. So take care and goodbye.